in Nigeria Info, and we've got you to thank for that because uh, numbers don't lie at all. Uh, thank you for making us a preferred radio station. Thank you for always tuning. Thank you for always engaging uh, both on radio and on social media. We appreciate you for that a lot. For those watching online, you're welcome to this conversation this morning because it's going to touch everybody's lives. Um, we want to talk about corporate wellness. We want to talk about well-being. We want to talk about your state of mind at your office. If you're an employer or an employee, uh, this is basically your conversation absolutely your conversation because i have someone here who is a major player in this area and that uh, she'll be talking to us a lot more about how we need to take this very very seriously i am sheriff quadri welcome to the last hour of the morning cross by you can watch on facebook nigeria info 99.3 uh also on youtube nigeria info 99.3 um if you're a business owner yeah we would like for you to drop an input uh uh, on what we're talking about this morning, but let me quickly because of time, because of time, because I know this is going to be quite, uh, quite a show. Uh, let me introduce my guest, uh, Dr. Uganze Uh She joins me live in the studio this morning. Uh, Dr. Uganze, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me, Sheriff. It's good to have you here. Thank you. Mm. Let me tell you a little bit more about my guest. Um, she is an internationally certified clinical consultant, uh, pharmacist uh, with over 25 years work experience in both corporate and private institutions. Uh, she's the chief executive officer of um, uh, Fitness Fair Limited, a leading provider of corporate wellness solutions to organizations and its workforce in Nigeria. Her passion for corporate wellness started uh, while working with the ExxonMobil Nigeria Group uh, with a principal position as a, a pharmacist in charge of Mobile Oil Nigeria Staff Clinic Pharmacy. Uh, following her extensive and first-hand experience while in corporate employment, it afforded her um, the proximity to observe the adverse um, trend in, in quality of life uh, due to stress and inadequate work-life balance, as well as the alarming increase in non-communicable diseases. Now, this ultimately, ultimately fueled her resolve to become a crusader for encouraging healthy lifestyle and providing support. Now, this passion eventually gave birth to the company called Fitness Fair limited F fitness fair particularly presently provides corporate wellness um, fitness health and nutrition consultancy uh, services to leading companies like exomobile especially in its ongoing global culture of health uh, program she also served as an advisor for implementing uh, ergonomic breaks amongst um, fbn holdings plc executives so she is an innovator uh when you talk about fitness when you talk about wellness when you talk about balancing work life uh um situations dr ak is the person to go to and it's it's a pleasure it's an honor to have you here to uh help us delve even deeper into the conversation we're about to have because a lot of dr ak yeah. a lot of people don't even take this very very seriously i know that they they see hustle they see survival each time they wake up it's about hmm, house rent five million naira at the end of the year so that thing always pushes everybody to to want to just push back their wellness their well-being they just want to walk 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 but let's set the foundation for this conversation mm -hmm. what's what is health and what is wellness Thank you, Sharif. I am very happy to be here. And Excuse hello, me. everyone listening. I went into this because of exactly what you said, the fact that people don't pay attention. And, uh, you know, I jokingly say that if I told you now to come and buy a B for 20,000 Naira, that yeah. you would quickly get that money out. But if I told you to come and do a health check, or mm. go to the hospital because of this headache or something that's been bugging you yeah. and you should put down 20,000 naira. Mm. You probably will say it's very, very expensive. Ah, that's too much now. Why should I go and dash one doctor? Ah, and much. then you probably would want to pop into one, you know, next uh, pack, you know, clinic or yeah. not clinic, like a, a medical, a medicine yeah. just store. Just a drugstore somewhere. Yes, mm. and want to just spend maybe 1,000 naira mm. for your health. Mm. And so because people are not paying attention, we're seeing a whole lot more going on, uh, more emergencies, you know, things that people could have mitigated when it was just about to start. Mm. And because mm. people are not paying attention, whether you are, you know, rich or poor, it's happening across board. 
people are therefore getting sicker and sicker mm. in Nigeria. Why should they pay attention? So many reasons. Mm. And even now that yeah. we have this pandemic, yeah. so to speak, yeah. Yeah. you know. So what is health? Health is, as defined by WHO, yeah. the complete state of uh, physical, mental, and social well-being, and not just the absence of disease. And I tell people that it's not the absence of disease, but when you see a man that looks like he's healthy, does yeah. that mean that he's well? Hmm. You know, now we are talking so much about mental health. It's yeah. been about people that are not well, even socially. So we understand that there's more than just defining it as a state. So wellness takes it beyond just that state. Mm. It takes it to the place of active participation. It oh. takes it to the place where you begin to engage your choices mm. and deliberately and intentionally choose that which will give you life at the other end. Mm. So wellness is when you are immersed in it, when right. it's part of you. Mm. And that's what, what we preach. So some people don't even, I'm glad, uh, Dr. Ike, that you put this out there the way it is, right? But some people, some people play down this wellness because they, they don't see it as real. Is, is, this, is this really real? I mean, they just, everything they know is just health. Mm -hmm. So I, ju I just want to know, I just want to know the state of mind of our people this morning. Can we call wellness? A fad, something not just there, like, yeah, not a reality. <laughs> Unfortunately, people would want to think of it as something that is not real until they actually fall sick. Yeah. You know, when we throw around, you know, words like health is wealth, yeah. you know, people still take it like something far away. But ask the man that has it to take overnight hmm. and can't do anything. Hmm. Then that health becomes wealth indeed. Unfortunately, we have a very short memory for remembering pain right, as humans. Right, right. And so that tendency is there. And that's why I am here. And that's why we are passionate about what we do. Because mm. what we, we do is try to make it a part of you, a yeah. lifestyle, yeah. a cautious embedding mm. of the healthy choices yeah. in your everyday life. So you are not really thinking about it, but you understand that you are making those healthy and positive choices. If individuals don't make those healthy and positive choices, Dr. A.K., how can organizations help in this case? Because these people are working for you. Yes. What role should organizations play in, in making wellness a, a, a part of the, the culture of organizations? In fact, that's my life's mission, and that's mm. our purpose, be, uh, you know, as you've read. First of all, I ask the question, when did you lose your health mm. when you started working? Like you said, people start working maybe when they graduate from university, 20, 21, 25. Right. Yeah. They're strong. They're not thinking about the later hours. They're not thinking about anything they're eating. Mm. And so you get the big job. You get the big fat salary. You're coming to work, getting up at 4 a.m., hitting this Lagos traffic or anywhere yeah. else that you yeah. may be at, and then you go through all that stress, three hours to work, three hours back. No, you know, and by the time you are, what, 55? No, mm. 55 is too far. Mm. Because the, the reason I told you I, I, I had to take the step was because I started noticing 25-year-olds, 30-year-olds, mm. 35-year-olds, hypertensive. My God. And it's getting worse. And so all the underlying uh, non-communicable diseases that we're talking about in, that are taking people and, make, and compromising their immunity, mm. even in the pandemic, you know, it's hitting hard because people are therefore working and they're working really good mm. and they are making all that money. And at the end of the retirement cycle, you now start using that money to start to, looking to, for your health. My goodness. Because you've collected all sorts of things along the way. Mm. You're now diabetic, you're hypertensive, and in some horrible cases, you have some diseases that do not have a cure. And so people need to begin to ask themselves, when did I lose my health? Okay. In the course of work. And so it's easy if the company creates that enabling environment where everybody first of all, starts with the education, has the tools, and has the support of management to be able to say it's actually okay to to make our environment that place mm. that you can be happy to go to sh work. Sh should there be a compulsory wellness program in organizations? Because, Dr. Ike, it's, it's easy that you're, you're, you're being very um, democratic by saying that, you know, companies should... But should it be compulsory? Like... Because if this productivity depends on the wellness of, of the staff, oh, yes. should, should, this pro, should, they, should companies have compulsory wellness programs? Uh, well, I wish I could say I will make it compulsory. <laughs> but unfortunately, things of life are not that easy. Yeah. The, the staff are the, 
the, are the most prized asset of any company. Mm. A healthy a company cannot function without a healthy workforce. That's we right. all know that. That's right. And unfortunately in Nigeria, nobody is paying attention to the number of times your staff call in sick. Mm. Nobody is paying attention mm. to the number of times your your staff will tell you, oh, I'm sorry, I can't make it to work because mm. I feel certain ways. Oh, if you God. added that up, you will understand how badly this is hitting your bottom line. Mm. So should it be compulsory? I think it should be taken very, very seriously yeah. because it's easy and it's cheaper, actually, to make that investment. And then the numbers are there. Mm. on the productivity that you would have on the other end, on the commitment. Mm. These are just the numbers. How about the intangibles, yeah. the excitement, the life that you give, the joy of coming to work, and people knowing that you actually care? Mm. That speaks a lot. And from data, it has even reduced like company turnovers in staff and stuff like that. Yeah, yes, indeed. Mm. If you're just joining us, you're welcome. Uh, we're reaching you live from Audio Visual Studios here on uh, it's me and Chris and Victoria Island, Lagos, Nigeria. We were talking corporate wellness this morning, how uh, companies and individuals should take their wellness um, very, very, very seriously. Um, if you've got an experience or you've got some thoughts as to what we're talking about, feel free to chime in right now. I'm going to take a few thoughts on what we're discussing this morning. Um, Dr. Eke says something that really struck me and reminded me that um, some few weeks ago, I had some two guests here some brokers on the show and we discussed insurance we um, tried to educate people on insurance uh, it, it, just the other day I was informed reliably informed that one of my guests just slumped and died yeah. and it, it broke me I cried where I was uh, because he was he looked he was so healthy um, and that uh, that touched me greatly. Hence, uh, the reason why we need to take our wellness very, very, very seriously. The fact that you're moving about agile, Vero, doesn't mean that you are okay. And that's the crux of our conversation this morning. 0700-993-993-993 and 01465-7190. My condolences to um, the company uh, and, of course, the family. Uh, of my guest that day, I would um, I wouldn't know whether the family would like me to to announce the name, so I would just keep it uh, like that. All right, uh, eight twenty one. Let's um, take a few calls in and um, get this conversation on the road before I go back to Doctor Ek again. Hello, good morning to you. Hello, good morning. Good morning to you. Yeah, my name is Shala. I'm calling from Nkotu. Welcome, Shala. Welcome. Yes, you know why you were. Um um, introducing your guests. Mm. I was just sending a chat to my boss. Okay. Of why I can't come to work. You know, I took the COVID vaccine yesterday and I've been very weak. Okay. And I realized that I'm going to be unproductive at work today if I mm. if I should manage and go. Mm. And you know, she was very okay. She simply said, oh, no problem. Just take time to rest. Yeah. So what I want to say is, even if organizations are making it compulsory, as it were, yeah. it's important that we have some bosses because some bosses will never, no matter what you tell them, they believe you are Whether you want to, whether you will fly to the office or crawl, they don't exactly. care. You just they have to be there. Mm. So I think that uh, boss, uh, you know, boss relationship with yeah. their staff yeah. is also very important. It needs mm. to be looked at. Mm. Thank you very much. Shala, you, you took that straight out of my script this morning because what I was going to ask Dr. A.K. Uh, was that I wanted to know, Dr. A.K., because wellness, workplace, very, very important. But then the HR, they don't make it easy. Mm. Business owners don't make it easy. What role do they have to play in, in, in enhancing this wellness culture in organizations? Okay, I think uh, the major problem is ignorance. Um, Worldwide, corporate wellness is a global trend now. It has been for years, actually. It's mm. not a new thing. Mm. And if um, the Nigerian uh, you know, HR practitioners could embrace what is the norm now yeah. abroad, I believe it will help. One thing I tell people when I talk about what we do is this. This is actually one gift you mm. give to yourself mm. and give to others. Because if you are the head of HR 
and you understand that your health is important, you'll yeah. be the first beneficiary of the knowledge, Absolutely. of the tools, of everything. Absolutely. And that means that even the very policies that you're implementing mm -hmm. will benefit you with life That's at the right. other end. Right. So I personally think that when they focus only on the costs, which mm -hmm. is what I've seen in trying to talk to people, they just focus, oh, can we afford this? Oh, the company, well, we don't even understand what you do. Oh, we've given our people maybe um, medical coverage. Mm -hmm. Medical coverage is good, but what we preach is preventive health. Health. Mm -hmm. You don't want people to fall sick and use, you know, the, the hospitals first before right. you feel you've done your job. That's right. I think people need to focus on the prevention of it. And that's mm -hmm. what we're talking about. And that's what we're passionate about. Mm -hmm. So you want people to learn how to sleep better, yeah. how to eat better, how to exercise better. And we have the analytics to support it mm -hmm. because it's not hocus pocus like what you get on WhatsApp or yeah. anything else. Yeah. We're talking about data driven information. Mm -hmm. So if your HR and you're working with us or, you know, other corporate uh, wellness clients, they should be able to provide you, uh, provide you with verifiable, you know, data that you can use for your management decisions indeed and like i said this is what's happening all over mm -hmm. we don't we have some companies like the company you mentioned i worked for right. they understood this and it's something they've implemented across the world right. and they are reaping it because working with them we've seen the change mm -hmm. where they had a lot of people obese at some point yeah. now most of the staff are exercising mm -hmm. and now and get, getting into you places feel better they not just feel better. They mm. look better. That's okay. Let's get a break. Huh? Let's get a break. Uh, we'll be back. This is an infomercial. Hey, what's going on? It's your deals plug. And as usual...
que ele viu as coisas. Paulo vai passar e ele pega toda a verdade e vai acrescentar e acrescentar o que ele falava de Deus. Todo, todo de Deus, toda de Deus ele falava. Ele não gostou de mandar deixar ele falar para todo mundo. Aí ele entra para mim e ele fala, que é isso? O que é essa lei? Eu falo, o que é? É uma folhinha, só que é só que é. Eu vou falar, só uma linha aqui, só que você não vai ter essa lei na sua vida. Develop a stack of Nigeria, all natural, sustainable growth. Your number one station for talk. Your number one station for talk. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. Yes, yes, you ladies and gentlemen. It's Zima for the Call Me Faith. Hello, everyone. My name is Yuri Abraham. My name is Vector the Viper. My name is Mr. Ainana. My name is Simcard, Officer Shukov. My flag. Come me. join me as we have fun and celebrate Nigeria Info. When me and my friends will humble Nigeria's Info OAPs. Come and see what my bullet can do. Let's hang out on the 30th Saturday of October at Open Center. The Nigeria Info Anniversary Train hits the football pitch. Come witness your favorite on-air personalities, Trey Tackles, with a uniquely assembled celebrity all-stars team. Featuring Dandy Humorous, Josh Too Funny, Vector, Efe, Yerins, and many more. Side attractions include music and sack race. Venue, Upbeat Center, Lecky. Date, October the 30th. Time, 4 p.m. Don't miss it. Morning Crossfire on 99.3 Nigeria Info. The nation's number one talk station, 99.3 Nigeria Info. Welcome back from that break. I'm Sheriff Quadri. Dr. Uganze Eke is still here in the studio with me. Dr. Eke, thank you uh, for coming into the studio this morning out of your very, very busy, busy schedule. Thank you. Thank you. Good mm. to be here. Before the break, before the break, we're talking about the HR um, um, business owners and their attention to wellness of uh, their employees. And you were explaining something. Yes, I was explaining that the ignorance sometimes mm. where people think that investing in preventive health solutions, it's all about, you know, cost yeah. is what we need to change uh, it's and that's what we are hoping to bring to radio and to the population mm -hmm. that people need to take care of themselves yeah. first yeah and in so doing then you are alive to help other people so mm -hmm. when you implement these things it's um important that you uh you 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 realize the the key so the key um the positive ripple effect okay. because as you empower one person mm. that person takes it home that's right and then the family is a healthier place and then people of course are happier to come back to work so ultimately we need to know that in investing in corporate wellness solutions yeah. you're actually giving yourself a gift mm. and giving other people a gift as well let's talk about that ignorance and the awareness available you have a program coming up tomorrow tell us about that Oh, yes. Is we it are, Saturday now or tomorrow? It's tomorrow, tomorrow. Thursday, okay. yes. And it's an online introduction or launch of a key, very <laughs> timely okay. um, corporate wellness um, digital platform. We are introducing and launching Choose Life tomorrow um, online okay. and having a little discussion about how what it, wo what it is, how it works, and how it's supposed to impact lives. Mm. It's, um, I mean, it's available for, it's open for anyone to register and join us. And we have it on our social media handles right. at Fitness Fair, you know, uh, NG. That is our, uh, on Instagram. At on Fitness Facebook. Fair NG Correct. on Instagram. On Instagram. Okay. And also even Choose Life Wellness. Mm -hmm. you know um also on instagram, on instagram. so we, we we are hoping to get people talking about changing this mindset mm -hmm. and if you are an, a business owner or a hr practitioner or a ceo or even a health enthusiast at any level i think it's something you would want to be a part of mm -hmm. we need to be able to find simple ways to embed the cautious choosing of life into our everyday 
you know, walk and talk. You did mention it at the beginning yeah. of this show that people don't want to take or don't usually think usually. about their health. That's right. And we just have a simple solution to that. That which you can easily flip out of your pocket mm -hmm. on your phone and then you're able to engage. And because it's a, it's a business to business focus yeah. and it's a corporate um, um, a frost into wellness okay. we are hoping to in, in motivate people and to also to give them incentives in mm. rewards so when you actually take care of yourself you should be rewarded for it oh so really to speak oh yes uh, okay. it's possible because that's what you do you're not taking money you're not giving them extra money you're yeah. just giving them what they already have hmm. by just changing a few hmm. things in your policies and in you know, but you need to have management buy-in. So organizations will be told how to do this. Oh yes, that's tomorrow. what we are there for. Okay, that's what we are there for. We are there to handhold you through the process. So they're not pay they're not paying extra to reward these their their Ideally, their staff. you shouldn't, because there are so many positives to it. Mm. When you only think about the curative medicine, yeah. you are thinking about how much you're just paying mm. an insurance mm. company. Mm. But when you work with us, you can actually use the fact that you've embedded a, pre a preventive health solution into your organization yeah. to negotiate for better premiums. Right. So ideally, what you what you what they gain because the the staff are healthier. They don't even use the premium. That's right. So the insurance companies gain by also allowing the corporate wellness companies to use you know, people like us or to engage people like us to teach their staff how right. not to get sick. Right. So right. people begin to understand themselves more and it's a it's a it's a new dawn mm. because I don't want to fall sick. Especially I, with I don't want nobody to fall wants sick. to fall sick. No, I don't. And if you understand where we are right now, even with the COVID pandemic, all that we know as external solutions, I'm talking about the drugs you take, the vaccines you take, yeah. all that, it's yeah. still failing. Mm. even mm. with mm. all that mm. we are producing. Mm. Mm. Your surest place of safety right now is your own immunity. Right. So why don't we focus on it? Why don't we look at how to enable and empower people mm. to actually take charge, choose life, mm. and take back their health and wellness. I yes. want to talk to you some more about um, the platform that you're launching. Tell us about that platform. What does that platform offer, really? Okay. It offers a lot. We are hoping to create what we call an ecosystem of preventive health. Okay. Starting with the fact that you have, normally when you get to the hospital, they'll have to do investigations. Mm -hmm. But on the platform, you'll have a health risk assessment process that will guide you to imputing your very life information. Oh. Now, I must say here that everything on the platform is very confidential because it's health. We are able to maintain the confidentiality of your medical records as an individual without divulging this to your corporate um, mm. employer. Uh, okay. 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 So if the, but on the side of the employer, we give an overview okay. of the state of health of their staff. Okay. That way they know what to do. Okay. So what um, Choose Life offers is that beautiful ability to take confidential care of their clients at That's the right. same time giving the management mm. the picture. Mm. Then we have what we call the four pillars, which are really the main areas that we work out of. Okay. We have the medical records, which we call the Know Your Numbers. And this is where you are basically encouraged to know your health, not data. Mm. Whether it's your blood pressure, your blood sugar, your cholesterol levels, everything about yourself. You your can numbers. Then, just your know numbers, them. yes. And you have a platform where you can record them. Mm. And if there's anything wrong, we pick that. And then we begin to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. How do you get to bring your blood pressure down? How do you get to maintain your blood sugar? Just with simple tools that right. you are not even aware of. Mm -hmm. But we are sure, you are sure that it's coming from a verifiable source. And we can give you the access you need to getting better health and uh, help with that if you need to. Fantastic. That's for the medical numbers. Right. Then we have the f nutrition. Mm -hmm. On the platform is embedded the ability to create a personalized meal plan. Now you can choose what you like to eat. And if you want to eat healthy, it will tell you what to do. Okay. And then we have the fitness. We have embedded there different kinds of exercises. So is your tummy that is your problem? Yeah. Is your arms or whatever? Or you just want the general body workout early in the morning without talking to anybody. Mm. It will prompt you where to go, how to get it, how many minutes you need to do it, and what sh you should expect on the other side. Mm. And finally, what we call the lifestyle. Now, this is about the mental health, the sleep the stress management, yeah. the smoke cessation, whatever it is that is like a lifestyle kind of thing, we focus on those. And remember, everything on that is 
totally confidential. Very confidential. Yes. Um, is there a website? Oh, yes, there is. It's uh, www.chooselifewellness.co. That's the, 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 the vehicle uh, website. Mm. But for now, we are going to be talking about all of that. Mm. Out of the because this is a product from Fitness Fair. Okay. Fitness Fair is the mother company that gave birth to Choose Life. To Choose because Life, yeah. our mission has always been about empowering people to choose life. To avoid falling ill. Exactly. Mm. And Pro so now we are giving you the the remote ability yeah. to be able to access that from anywhere in the world. That's right. A again, the webinar tomorrow starts at what time? Ten AM. Ten AM tomorrow. Twelve noon, yes. So how can people join the webinar again? Instagram and facebook mm. and now uh they can go to our handle at fitness fair ng on uh, instagram yes on instagram mm. and facebook okay. and also they can look out for choose life wellness mm. yes when they go on those um two platforms they can they will see a link to to, to register mm. yes they can okay. register on those links and registration is free it's absolutely free okay. it's absolutely free uh any other information we'll be sharing when they join the webinar fantastic yes. but let, let's get some calls in because uh, i'm sure a lot of um, people would like to join our conversation um this morning please when you call i beg you just go straight to the point thank you good morning to you Yes, yeah, Sherry. Good morning. Good morning. Is my name. Welcome, Thank Jonathan. For bringing the guests on board. Mm -hmm. I want to appreciate God. I want to appreciate Nigeria Info, Dr. Jews, well-being. I've learned that on this station. Mm -hmm. As a routine mm -hmm. that I keep. If I used today, I was reading on my Google Kegel exercise. I think it's called Kegel. So I read Kegel. about it. Yeah. Yes, I tried to. I started it the day before it uh, What are you looking for now, eh, Jonathan? What else? What yeah. else are you looking for? <laughs> Tell us if they, anyway, I hold that to the Nigeria Info. I've been educated on this platform. I, I think it's good that we have a well being, dieting, exercising, yeah. drinking water every day, mm. cholesterol level, sugar level, all those things. Yeah. And I go with just crown everything. That's right. Thank you, Jonathan. I'm honestly good. Henry. Henry is in Surulere. Henry, hi. Morning to you. Hello, Sherry. Good morning to you. Good morning. Yes, please. I've been trying to reach you, you know. No worries. Some of these your Nigerian info AP, they don't like to act right. You know, when it comes to giving people their, their winnings, I think that's the station rule that they should give people their money. You win something, they would like to do somehow. I don't know. As if you are trying to beg them for money. What else? The station says you should give people, give back to the people. Okay. I want something and somebody is willing to give it to me. Wait, what did you win, Harry? It's ten thousand. You won ten thousand there. Yes. When, last when, week. when, when is it? Last week. On the sunny side. On the sunny side. Yes. Harry, Harry, I'm sure you've been paid, okay? I've not been paid. I, I was not even contacted. Oh, okay, man. That's the problem then. That means we don't have your contact yet. Don't worry, your contact. Will, just don't hang up. Just stay on the line, huh? We'll get your contacts now. Then verify and see whether you indeed won last week, okay? I answered a question. I, I know, Henry. I've, 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 I've answered your question now. Don't we just stay on the line. We'll get your contacts now. You understand? We'll okay, get your details I'm now. On the line, on the line. Okay, stay on the line, Harry. Thank you. I'm going to speak with Angela. Angela, hi. Morning to you. Yeah, good morning. Good morning to you. This is Angela. So let me just be very fast. I don't, uh, you don't have a lot of time, but this is actually to expose some people who are actually very wicked. We have ah. so many HRs who are very, very wicked to their staff. Hello? And um, mostly because of the, this um, contract staff and Hello? also um, having full staff. Hey, Clay, can you hear me? Yes, go on, go on, Angela. Harry, stay okay. on the line. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is this. Um, I want this, I, want, I don't know how you guys can just come in to all the contact centers you have in banks in Nigeria. I want to specifically say about the one that starts with um, alphabet A. That environment there is highly toxic. I want oh, to walk Hold on. Oh, Angela, I don't understand what you're saying. I'm lost. Okay. Can you hear what I'm saying now? Tell me exactly what you're saying. What I'm trying to say is, okay, some of the HR, this has to do with the HR. HR. Who are wicked. Okay. You understand? Okay. They know all these things, but because of their selfishness, they do not want to know the well-being of their well, They're not interested in so the well-being. I'm about saying, I walk, want to walk, in a contact center. Oh, I was working in oh, Diamond Bank before, oh. in a contact center. 
that place, the woman there who was the head of contact, she was very good. She had a very good working environment mm. until the merger with this uh, particular bank, okay? If you go there, that place is highly toxic. Mm. People, at the working hours, they don't care. They, all they want you to do is just bring in results. Mm. So I don't know how you guys can actually help people out. People okay. are, they, they can't even come out to voice out. To say of things. Of losing That's right. Their jobs. That's right. These jobs are available. I'm sure people will have just left in some of this organization. Mm. Or we'll have uh, people who can actually fight for you. Right. People can't fight for you because if you come out, you see the CEOs, you see them, they are after you. Mm. So I don't know what you guys can do. But I'm telling you, the contact centers in some of those banks mm. are very, very, very Thank you. Bad. Thank you. Toxic. Thank you, Angela. Very, you see people of lower age having high BP oh. because of the working environment. Mm. And I want to use the opportunity to also say thank Ojugo and Miriam. She was the Diamond Bank contact center. That woman, I give kudos to her anywhere she is. I'm mm. actually not working in any of those places anymore because I'm in a better place now. Mm. So thank you. Um, thank you, Angela. Sarah, thank you. Opportunity. Have Please a good make this a welcome back again. So we can actually discuss further on All right. this issue. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Um, she said perhaps you need to come back, uh, Dr. E.K., so that we can talk some more. Um, please, uh, whoever that is downstairs, please pick up Henry's call and get Henry's number, okay? Uh, let's not keep him on the line for too long. I'm, I'm still seeing him on my screen here, okay? Um, let's take one more call. Yeah? Let's take one more call. Hello, good morning to you. Oh, we lost that call. Uh, can I accommodate another call? Can I, oh, God help me. Okay, let's see. Hello, good morning to you. Yeah, Chief Kondry, good morning. Good morning to you. Doc, good morning, man. Good morning. We are talking about uh, healthy living and uh, health, right? Correct. Uh-huh. Hey, Chief Kondry, please, organize match for we the callers and Nigeria Info Workers. That, that, well, bye-bye. That's not what we're talking about. Thank you for trying, though. Uh, there's a match coming up this Saturday. Um, please, please, just know when to crack jokes and the rest of them. Uh, please do. This is a very serious conversation. Uh, Dr. Ike, we must go now. But then before we go, quickly, quickly. Um, tell us about, give us information again about the webinar tomorrow. Okay, so we are um, happy to launch a wellness platform called Choose Life. Okay. And it's all about empowering Nigerians to better self-care and to focusing the corporate wellness uh the corporate uh, organizations to be able to use this simple tool this mm. digital tool mm. to empower their staff we are in a season where all else is failing and the only sure ability to keep a healthy staff a vibrant staff and to increase your bottom line and productivity That's right. is That's right. about your greatest asset mm. and that is your staff That's so right. we're saying engage us come for the um webinar tomorrow it's at 10 a.m. and it will last for just two hours. I know everybody is busy, but this is going to be time well spent because you truly cannot put any value Indeed. to health. Thank you. Dr. Uh, Ganze, okay, thank you so much for calling, uh, for coming. I really do appreciate you. Best of luck tomorrow. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. That's our show this morning. Lagos, thank you so much for being a part of the Morning Crossfire. Daily Digest is next. I'm Sheriff Quadri. Uh, Sharif Quadri across all social media platforms. Um, see you tomorrow at 5. Morning to you. Nigeria Info. We are more than just radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nigeria Info FM. Check us out on Facebook at Nigeria Info 99.3. Follow us on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM and on Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos for live updates as it happens. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk.